Hello friends, this is Rahul. Let's simply learn robotic process automation with UiPath. In this video, we will see Citrix automation or remote desktop automation. We will automate our application which is present in remote desktops. Let's open UiPath Studio. Now into the process. Here, our first step will be to launch the remote desktop application so for that we will create one new workflow name it to the open rtp we go to the msdsc path where the x is present that is under system 32 We'll drag the activity start process. Let's open. Yeah, it's open. Now our next step would be type into activity. We'll type the IP address. We will make some changes in the property that is wait for ready would be interactive and empty field. So it will clear the existing field and then put a new value. Now next activity would be click that is we'll click on connect button we'll make it is interactive click on connect now our next activity again uh, that is type into activity we'll provide the password here Again, this would be inter interactive. Next is click on OK. Again, we'll click on yes. So for that, we'll use clear activity and we'll select indicate on screen yes button. Wait for interactive. We'll put delay, some delay after this activity that is some five seconds to launch the remote desktop. Open the remote desktop application. Yes. Save this and let's test. Yeah. Yeah, it's now the remote desktop application successfully. Now we'll go to the main XAML. We'll create one sequence here and we'll drag this workflow open rdp in our sequence and our next activity would be send hotkey sorry i have to go to the activity panel and then 
will pass control control s now why we have passed all control s here because uh, we have made some set i have made some setting to launch the chrome browser so we have to go to the property and here i have set some shortcut key alt con control alt s and run would be in a maximize window so this is some setting that i have done to launch the chrome browser in remote desktop Now our next activity will be we have to type the URL or application URL. So for that here <coughs> we will use computer vision activity that is CV type into. Before that we have to use CV type into active we have to use CV screen scope. Under CV screen scope we can use CV type into activity. Uh, here CV screen scope activity we have to provide api key and url now where from where we'll get a api uh, api key so for that you just log in into the platform.uipad.com go to the licenses section go to the other services and here you will get computer vision api key just copy it okay and your url would be https colon double slash cv dot ui path dot com yeah. then we'll click on indicate on screen and it will detect the screen element and labels yeah now here we'll use type into activity and we'll type the url here uh, we'll get to message duplicate matches try another anchor so we have to use one more label yeah now it is detected and we'll put here let's save this and <clears throat> let's test this so far Yeah, it type the URL as well. We'll make some delay here after this. That's three second delay. Yeah. Now our another another step would be again we have to use CV screen scope. Now this time you will able to see API screen and URL automatically. That is added. It is already present. We'll indicate on screen to detect the elements and labels. Then we'll use CV type into activity and one CV click. Username, password, and click button. Yeah, you can see automatically anchor is getting detected for username for the password and login button it is red so we'll select this and make the anchor for login uh, user id is admin 
password is admin123. Yeah. This let's test this. Oof. Sorry, my bad. Let's close and done this. Yeah, it has filled the details. Now, uh, another activity is click on PIM, then we'll add an employee. So, go to the CV screen scope again. Now, Click on PM and another CV screen scope. We'll place function F2. Add employee. Now we'll use again one CV screen scope and <coughs> here we'll CV it will automatically detect the anchor another is another activity again we use CV type into for last name it is also detected the anchor and then one more CV type into For employee ID and last is to click on save. Yeah, here we'll fill some value. yeah and that's it in our workflow we'll save this let me close this and hopefully it should run successfully there should not be an issue
it launches the application in remote desktop now it is putting the user id password click on login now click on pim now click on add employee now it is filling the first name last name and click on save yes our execution has been successfully ended so in this way you can with the help of ai computer vision activity you can automate the application present under the remote desktop i hope this will helpful to you thanks for watching please subscribe